Hello, people of the interwebs, and thank you all for joining me here on the Painting Portal today. I am your host, Emma Stroll. Um, I know it's been a while since I've been on here, but I've still been cranking out these pieces for the um, Learning to Listen project. Uh, if you guys would like to see those other pieces within this series, uh, you can go to my channel. They are listed there. I am going to probably make a playlist of them once they're all done, and that way you can just scroll through them. But uh, I thought it would be interesting to show you guys a little bit more of the sketching process this time around because I don't really normally get to show that. So on the left you can see like my original sketches, the one on the top uh, left corner of the sketchbook is the one that I'm going off of for this painting. And just a little spoiler alert, the one in the bottom right hand corner is the one that I am going to be working on next in the series. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for that if you guys have been following the project. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to talk a little bit about my shop before I uh, go deep into this video. I have put up a bunch of new items. I had a bunch of drumsticks. They all sold out. Um, I do still have stickers on sale. I do still have prints. Um, and I have also made two hand-painted boxes. Um, I really like how they came out, so if you guys want to check those out, you can uh, see them over on my Instagram or over on my Etsy shop as well. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I am actually thinking about making some changes just to how I organize all of my art within these platforms, um, but I'll keep you guys posted as I get a little bit more into that, I think, uh, but as of right now, what I'm mainly planning is having Instagram be more for all of my sketches and that sort of thing, and having this platform be more for paintings. I am going to want to do some sketch with me sort of videos um, in the future still, but I am going to try and keep pretty much all of my painting uh, type stuff on here. Uh, at least until I have a painting finished, I'm not going to be really posting process photos of uh, most of my artworks, at least, anymore. Um, but, again, this is all subject to change, you know? Um, but, anywho, let's just hop right in here, because I have just been jabber, jabber, jabber. Um, but, yeah, so you can see here that um, I am working on the third piece in the series, the first piece that I worked on was learning to listen to others, the second piece was learning to listen to yourself, and this one is learning to listen to your environment, and uh, later in the video I will get a little bit more into what that means, uh, specifically at least like how, am I, how I am portraying it here, but um, as far as like the actual artistic process goes, just some things that I really like about the piece right off the bat is I do really like the colors that I chose. I think the color scheme was really good for this one, and um, it just came out like all five fingers. Gotta love it. Um, but yeah, I was originally gonna do the background purple, and I really think that that would have still looked good, but to be totally honest, I think the green background just um, it meant more to, like, the storytelling aspect of the artwork, and it, um, I think it just, like, added a nicer contrast between the, the warm brown that I used for the skin tone and all the red details, um, and having this very, like, lime green background. I, uh, I do really like how the colors came out, but as far as the background itself goes, I don't know, I don't like it as much as the other two fade sort of backgrounds that I did. I think um, part of it was I did have a hard time blending uh, the background, but we move on from our mistakes and we learn from them. And, uh, you know, talking about other things that I struggled with with this piece was actually the nose of this person. I don't know why. I had drawn a very specific nose, if you saw in the beginning of the video, during the sketch phase. And, like, I don't know, normally I don't struggle with noses. To me, noses are normally one of the more fun parts of a painting, but this one I just it really threw me through a loop. Um, the lighting just really was giving me a hard time, and lighting is one of the big things that I do want to push myself a little bit harder with because, I don't know, just pieces with super dynamic lighting is just so, like, mmm, scrumptious, delicious, gotta love it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so weird, but it's okay. I don't love it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and uh, honestly, I feel like as with um, at least the other two pieces, and I'm planning the, the fourth piece, uh, 
I really think that the details that I put into these is just like what makes everything pop so nice. Like all the, like the highlights in the eyes and having the eyes be super solid because all of these people are supposed to be blind. Um, and just to touch on that a little bit, I know I have talked about it in the other videos, but I am making all these people um, blind or blind looking at least, um, just to really push the point that they are depending on their sense of hearing. Um, you know, and I guess that's a good segue for me to just talk into a little bit, uh, ugh, sorry, tongue twister, talk a little bit more into, um, like, all the symbols that I put in this piece and just really what everything means <laughs> down to the nitty gritty. So, um, I honestly, I, it's so weird the way that I choose what is going to be a symbol and what is not. Um, I think that for this piece specifically, um, and this series specifically, I guess I should say, the just the self-expression within each of these people that I've created um, is really like what I'm trying to push for um, because, you know, listening to your environment, listening to others, and listening to yourself is all, um, they're all things that really help individuals grow and um, express themselves, you know, and that is a stage of growth. Um, so I've really tried to portray that within the, the head paint, the you know, the makeup on the other two, and, like, just all the jewelry, and all the little fun details within this piece that when you look at it up close, it just makes it, like, look super fun. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> yeah, I, uh, I don't know why I, <laughs> these eyebrows, I really like them, but I've never seen eyebrows like this on anybody else. I think that we need to make this a style. That's just a side note, by the way, I wasn't really style with somebody. But yeah, anywho, I guess um, next I should talk a little bit of more about what it means to listen to your environment because I think the first two pieces um, were a little bit more straightforward with listening to others and listening to yourself. Those are two very like common forms of listening, I guess, but listening to your environment, I guess, is just um, a little bit less talked about um, or less seen in everyday life, I should say. Um, but basically, it's just tuning into your surroundings and being at one with your environment and you know with this also comes strong themes of connecting uh connecting with others connecting with plants connecting with the earth and um that is another reason why i chose this color scheme i felt like it was just very earthy sort of feeling and um with a little bit of pop from the red which was just I don't know, it just seemed very befitting for this piece, but, um, yeah, I think listening to your environment is really being able to, um, be acute to why things that happen within your life happen, and, um, you know, just being in tune with the different scenarios that, um, occur or that you are pondering putting yourself in, um, you know, it's a lot more of just, uh, mindfulness and um more looking inward while connecting with e what's outside sort of a thing i don't know if that totally makes a whole bunch of sense the way i said it but you know some things i say in my brain i'm like yeah that sounds good and then when i hear it <laughs> it doesn't make sense but that is kind of the best i can really think to explain it to be honest with you i um I don't know, getting in touch with your environment is just like, there are so many different ways to do it. There are so many different circumstances, which it is helpful, you know, it's helpful when learning to love yourself, and it's helpful when learning to love others, and, you know, be tolerant of others, and respect others, and it's because it's this very fundamental, basic value of having respect for anything that comes from your environment and your home and, you know, really seeing your home, the earth, as your sanctuary, you know? And I think that when you're sort of on that wavelength, um, certain things just come easier. Like, uh, I don't know, the biggest example I could really think of is, like, predictability of scenarios, you know, it makes it easier for, um, at least me to have, like, clearer thinking and, um, just really, 
um, being like before I force myself into something or jump right into something, I should say, I um, take a step back and I think like, is this really what I want? Is this something that's going to be worth my time? Like, and, you know, is this something that is going to show respect for myself and respect for others and respect for my environment? And that is just like a whole cumulative mindfulness. So if you guys did watch the other two videos, this is sort of like a combination of the two plus, um, you know, whatever setting you're in, just absorbing all the vibes, <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, so, I, uh, I put a lot into this piece, a lot, um, you know, emotionally, and the series as a whole, I'm really, really excited to, um, to work on the next piece, which, just as a little, another spoiler alert, um, is gonna be, uh, about listening to, the universe, you know, and, um, <laughs> that is gonna be another thing that is probably a little bit difficult to explain, but I will do my best in that video. <laughs> um, but I think that is a reason why, um, a lot of visual artists are visual artists, you know, um, I paint things so that I don't really have to fully explain them. I do like to give context, I think it makes it more enjoyable for myself and for the viewer if I do um, kind of just say what's going on and um, that way everybody's in the same boat and we can share our opinions and stuff, like if you have different ideas of what this would mean, um, I love to hear that sort of thing, but I think that is really the biggest attraction of art. But uh, I really thank you guys for coming here and listening to me and watching me paint. Um, if you'd like to support me, head over to my Etsy. If you want to see my sketches, uh, go over to my Instagram. Other than that, just have a good day, you guys. Stay safe.